Day Vlogsters. We are here in London for the Frida Kahlo exhibition. I don't think I can actually take any photos or vlog in the Frida exhibition itself, but I'm sure I can do some lovely general v &A stuff. Um, didn't vlog much yesterday at all, as you saw, so we just traveled in and then um, met up with small school friends for some dinner, drank a lot, feeling a little bit delicate today, to be honest. Um, had an amazing time, so good in fact, I forgot to take any photos or Insta stories or vlog at all, which I think is always a sign. <laughs> yeah, always a good sign that you got carried away with the chatter and probably carried away with the wine as well. Anyway, on with the day. Hey there vlogsters, it is much later. We are back at our hotel. Um, I'm still quite husky from last night. I am blaming it on the fact that we were outside because it was nice and surrounded by smokers because obviously the smokers are outside as well. Um, and not blaming it on the beer. Uh, or the cocktails, uh, or the wine. Um, <laughs> so we're back at the hotel, which is very nice. I will show you it properly, probably tomorrow morning. Um, Frida Kahlo exhibition was awesome. We also had a bit of a walk around the V&A, which I've not done. I've been to exhibitions there, but I've not just generally walked around. Um, and like a little around the Asia bit, and around the Europe bit, and that was really cool. Um, we then just had a bit of a stroll about um, and I've come back and it's quite late now and we're going to go and get some Korean fried chicken. Uh, we yet to decide whether we're going to eat it at Box Park in Shoreditch which is, I don't know if I came to Shoreditch and stayed here when we did um, Hyper Japan Christmas Market which I vlogged and I don't know if I actually took you to Box Park, I don't think I did, but basically it's like shipping containers with pop-ups in and um, there's an awesome Korean fried chicken place there called um, Cockfighter so we're gonna go and get some chicken I can't quite decide whether we're gonna eat it there or bring it back to the hotel Dan is very upset by the prospect of having like a hotel bed picnic <laughs> doesn't like that idea at all but I don't want to sit at tiny desk and eat but I would quite like to come back here because I'm quite tired but hey Let's go into Hipster Shoreditch. It sounds very loud out there. It sounds like people are partying very hard. Um, let's see how we get on. I'm so hungry. My husband would like me to point out that the reason he doesn't want to have a room, like a room picnic with me is because I am a spiller um, and I do get crumbs everywhere and then he won't be able to sleep because the bed will be full of like chicken, basically. Um, I think he's being really unreasonable. But like OOTD have I? I've bought a bit of Birmingham to London with my, so my husband's rummaging around in the fridge, a bit of Birmingham to London with my uh, provide all right bath tea, ASOS Cardi, let's get my mum made, some V-Box, can't get far enough back to fit it all in, there we go, right, food. We are back from, oh the lighting in here is so unflattering, I like to think I don't look this pink. Maybe I just do. Um, we're back from Box Park, it was very busy, so we just, and we're just really tired as I said earlier, so um, we have bought our fried chicken back to the room with us, Ooh, there you go, and we have bought all the chicken. So in our fried chicken feast we have chicken bao. We had these last time, they were amazing. Uh, a chicken burger with pickled green chilli. I think we had the, they've got like three different burgers on. I think we had like the normal, normal, like the standard burger last time. That's one of the special ones. Uh, we have got some paprika fries. And last but not least, we have got crispy chicken wings with soy honey glaze. We didn't have any wings last time. I'm very excited to try these.
morning vlogsters it's sunday i say morning it's literally just morning because we've had a very lazy breakfast in bed chill type morning which i'm feeling so much better for sorry if the quality of the vlog wasn't amazing yesterday and um, as you may have gathered we were both really hungover we're grown-ups it happens sometimes anyway i did promise you a very quick room tour before we left uh so we're staying at the hoxton as you can see it has gorgeous parquet floor uh so let me show you the bed it is a double rather than a king because it's got very cool kind of leather headboard that echoes the parquet massive mirror over here excellent for the uh outfits of the day and then excuse the slight mess um where we've tied it up around the bin we've got a nice little desk area a bit of a chesterfield chair okay i had to rush that room tour a bit because sam was getting very stressed that we get charged for late checkout we weren't um <laughs> but we're now heading to duck and waffle for some brunch just to tip all of the cheesy london kind of boxes um I did email them about my allergies, my cinnamon allergy in advance, I've not heard back. So, fingers crossed I can eat stuff. But if not, it would be an excellent view. Very high up. I can judge my food by its altitude. Monday Emily here just signing off because I did not sign off yesterday and um, the reason I didn't sign off yesterday was after our duck and waffle brunch which I'll give you thoughts on but um, we then um, strolled back to get our train only to discover well we kind of knew that there were going to be some issues we didn't quite know how bad it was going to be so um, we knew there were some like issues with Euston what we didn't realize was that Euston is closed <laughs> or was closed over the weekend and therefore everyone um who would have been traveling through euston to birmingham or on the kind of train that goes through birmingham new street so i'm guessing that's like edinburgh cardiff lots of them would be getting our train instead our little chilton train that we usually get because it comes back in closer to the jewelry quarter and it's generally a nice train and um, it was when i say packed i mean absolutely rammed it was a stood in the vestibule all the way back from london job absolutely boiling like i think i have been less sweaty in steam rooms to be honest it was horrendous um it just took ages and by the time we got back we were destroyed as human beings <laughs> pretty much um sat on the sofa then went to bed and i looked so horrendous that i couldn't even bear and i'm not you know you've seen me without makeup you've seen me ill uh so you just take it that i really couldn't bear to put the camera up but hey but we had such a nice weekend it was so lovely to catch up with friends which i know i didn't vlog but yeah um it was just really really nice um we were saying we've got to make an effort to kind of see each other all the old school friends now because that's all the weddings done after this summer so there's not kind of like an excuse to see each other we've got to got to make the effort so working on that and you know like it's it's so easy i think as an adult to kind of lose touch with people if you're not careful because you know everyone's living their lives and they're all over the country um so yeah just just very nice to kind of to catch up go out have a few, a few drinks as you saw bad influence obviously you get together with people that you went out with when you were young and you just think you can behave like you're young again body's not having any of it um duck and waffle duck and waffle was an awesome experience um it had a bit of a shaky start in that I, as I said to you, I had emailed them to, about my uh, cinnamon allergy and not heard anything back and just hadn't had chance to like, like, oh, I just didn't follow it up. I should have chased it up. And then when I got there, they were like, oh yeah, yeah, we got your email. We've got noted on your reservation. You've got a cinnamon allergy. So just double check when you order, but it should all be fine. Like, Brilliant. So went to order the duck and waffle. <laughs> couldn't have the duck and waffle sorry full sd card there um but yeah couldn't have the duck and waffle they're like we're really sorry the duck is seasoned with cinnamon so you can't have that and i was quite annoyed because i have to say that like you know you go to duck and waffle you want the duck and waffle um which for those of you wondering is literally 
a confit duck leg on waffle with mustard um, maple syrup and a duck egg on top and it just looked awesome. However, I could have, weirdly, which I thought I just kind of assumed would probably be difficult, the spiced duck donut, which was, as you will have seen, a massive great donut rolled in paprika and sugar with um, duck, spicy duck inside uh, with, with jam around the outside like a sweet sauce. And oh my God, it was so good. It was so good. So there was this like shaky start where I was a bit like, and our waiter was like, it just, just spoke really quickly and I was finding it quite difficult to keep up and like trying to make decisions and stuff. And I just got a bit stressed out by it all. Um, so yeah, slight shaky start through to decent food. And actually Dan tried my donut and said it was far better than the duck and waffle. Um, which he said the duck and waffle was fine, but I think we've just had some really excellent fowl and waffle combos, especially in New York. Um, and it was, it was like pretty good. He gave it like a seven out of 10, whereas I kind of gave my donut and he agreed like an eight and a half out of 10. So would we go back? I'm not hundred percent sure whether we go back. I feel like we've had the experience now. Um, would I recommend it? I would say yes, absolutely go. Do brunch at duck and waffle. It feels quite special just because of like being high up and it's all really nice but be prepared that it's probably more about the experience than the food that like if you what you want is just a really amazing breakfast you can probably get it elsewhere and probably a bit cheaper anyway that's it for this week i'm gonna start filming this week now bye